Hey guys, it's the Ryan Shand here again, um, and I'm back with um, episode 50 of my pickups. Um, so, yeah, a landmark uh, achievement for me. Um, I've actually been off work now for coming up to four weeks, and I'm off next week as well. Um, still haven't been feeling all that great. But, yeah, fuck it. So it's now the 28th of February today, um, and... I've been off since the 31st, so I've pretty much missed the month of February with work. But um, I have been picking up some stuff off of eBay. Um, and picked up a, a job lot of PS1 games as well and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, let's uh, get on with it. Uh, sorry about the hair, but um, you don't watch the channel for the hair, don't you? So, uh, bug it. Right, so first we're going to start with... Uh, some Game Boy games I've got. Now I've got some boxed Game Boy games to show you. First up is Tennis. Um, and I picked this one up off of eBay and it's boxed. It's not complete. Um, it doesn't have the manual. In fact, no, actually this one does have the manual. Sorry, I'm, I'm speaking shite. Um, and this cost me around, I think it was £4. And that was including postage. And it's in really good shape, as you can see. Um, so the bottom there, in the back of the box. So yeah, that's pretty fucking sweet. I mean, I love picking up Game Boy games whenever I can get them. Get them for a good price. I love picking them up. So I'm really pleased with that. So that was sweet. Um, a rareish game now. Um, Spider-Man 2 for the original Game Boy. And that's boxed and complete. That's in really good condition as well. So yeah, a bit of the back of the box there. Um, that's the size of the box, and this one, yeah, cost me pretty much next to nothing, this cost me £8, it was £6 for the game, and it's £2 postage, so again, pretty fucking awesome deal, because this game can go for quite a lot on eBay, only problem I've got with it is there's a bit of a, a crease at the back here, and the, uh, the box just will not stay closed, which is common for old games, but um, that's pretty fucking sweet, and I'm really pleased with that. Uh, also another boxed Game Boy game, and this one's mint condition. Now, I didn't know much about this game before I bought it, but um, since come to learn, it's, it's quite a difficult game to get boxed and complete, so <clears throat> I was really pleased with it. It's actually a game I'm after on the NES, um, and that is Darkwing Duck. Um, and as you can see, it's in really good shape. It's got a little bit of a mark at the top there, where like a price sticker had been taken off back of the box there. And this is boxed and complete in awesome, awesome shape. Uh, and I got this one for £9 and it was free postage. So, yeah, it's, it just goes to show you that there is good deals to be had out on eBay. Um, you just have to keep looking for them. Um, and I know that this is like a twenty £25 game. So um, I'm really, really pleased to have this in my collection. So that's fucking awesome. And I meant to show it in episode 49, but um, I don't know. It was sitting there. I just didn't see it when the time I was shooting the video. So... This was bought a long time ago, but it's in a pickup video now. And in case you're wondering, with this uh, poster in the back here, this was uh, sent to me by Grub Gun. Um, it's about as close as I can get it to the camera, uh, so I hope you can see it, Grub. Um, but yeah, so uh, thank you very much, it's fucking awesome. And I've got a good um, spot picked out for it over here, on my wall. So I'll be banging it up there. But it'll be in episode 51 as well. Now right, I've got a PSP game. Um, and this one I was really pleased to get actually because uh, I don't have any of these games and it's like a compilation game um, and I'll show you, it's uh, Metal Slug Anthology and um, yeah, that's pretty fucking awesome and basically it's got Metal Slug 1, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 3, Metal Slug 4, Metal Slug 5 and Metal, Metal Slug 6 and uh, that's boxed and complete and this actually only cost me a fiver um, £5 and it's free postage um, so, yeah, I thought it was a fucking bargain, because I seen the PS2 one was going for like 20 quid. And I was wanting the PS2 one initially, but I just saw this one there and I thought, you know what, fuck it. Let's get some PSP games into the collection. So I did, and that's my girlfriend texting me. <laughs> but yeah, so I was really pleased with that. Um, I haven't played it yet, I haven't tried any of the, the Metal Slug games actually, so um, I'm a Metal Slug virgin. But um, I'm looking forward to uh, giving this one a bash and seeing what it's like, because I hear a lot of good things about Metal Slug. So that was cool. And for a fiver, I couldn't really go wrong with that. Right, I'm going to show you the PS1 games I picked up, and they're all as a job lot. Some of them are in alright condition. Uh, hardcore ECW Revolution. Uh, 
Revolution, yep. It's a Ubisoft exclusive box, Carmageddon. They're all boxed and complete. Toka 2 Touring Cars, it's a really good game that one. Thrasher Presents Skate and, Skate and, Skate and Destroy. Fuck, I'm all over the place, sorry. <laughs> Formula 197 DBZ Dead Ball Zone This one's got a chip at the bottom of the, the case there Which is a bit shit, but the price I paid for them, I'm not complaining Hidden and Dangerous, Boxing Complete Fucking awesome game this WWF Smackdown 2, Know Your Role Fucking sweet I used, I used to play sh that game fucking tons when I was little South Park, you gotta love your South Park. No Fear Downhill Mountain Biking, so that's pretty cool. And last but not least, Driver. Now, I think I've already got this one, but um, yeah. So basically, I paid, what was it? There's an old cash converter sticker on there, I didn't pay that for it. But I paid, I think it was about £4 for the lot. Some guy was selling them on Gumtree, just uh, a list of PS1 games, £4 the lot. I was like, fuck yeah, you know what I mean? So I was really pleased with that. So I couldn't complain. We didn't even round it up to a fiver, I thought it was a bit strange, but £4 the lot, I'm not moaning about it. So all those PS1 games for £4 was pretty cool, so I was really pleased with that. So yeah, that was sweet as. Um, what else have we got to show you? Oh yeah, I've got a GameCube game to show you. And I'm not sure if I showed this in the last episode, it was like three weeks ago I shot that episode, but um, yeah. Um, so, like I say, it's a GameCube game, Mario Party 4, and this is my second Mario Party game. Basically, a bit of story behind this. I saw on Gumtree that somebody was selling uh, Mario Party 4 for the GameCube for a fiver, but um, I couldn't actually get to where they were in Scotland, so I just decided, fuck it, because on petrol costs and stuff, it would have cost me like £20-£25 and all. So I thought, you know what, I'll just get it off eBay. Um, and this one cost me a tenner, so um, yeah, it's... Fine. I mean, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's got a little bit of a, a mark at the top here. But that's just where a sticker's been taken off. Um, it's boxed and complete. So that's pretty sweet. I mean, this is like probably one of the most common Mario Party games you can get. It's not expensive at all. Um, and that's why I picked it up, really. And I, I don't have one in my collection other than on the DS. So, yeah, I'm happy to get a Mario Party game for the GameCube. I wanted to get all the Mario Party games. So, um, yeah, this will this will go handy in my collection. Also got two, oh fuck, I don't, yeah, two Mega Drive games, Alicia Dragoon, uh, it's sun faded, which I fucking hate, but uh, it's boxed and complete, manual's a bit tatty there, but yeah, you know, can't go wrong with that, and that was like, I think that was £6 for that one, so that was alright. Um, a really nice copy of Super Hang On, which is a fucking awesome game, I love playing this game. And again, boxed and complete. That one's in a lot better condition. A lot better condition. And um, that only cost me, I think it was about £4. And it's £1.50 postage. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased to get that in my collection. And as you can see, the side of it's not sun faded. That's all good. For Mega Drive, I just decided if the labels are sun faded, they're sun faded. I'm, I'm just going to go for the collection. Go for as many games as I can get a hold of. And then, once I have them all, I'm just going to swap the sun faded ones out of my collection and buy in, like, good ones. I just want the games to play, you know what I mean? So, for just now, I'm not too bothered about that. But I also picked up an NES game off of eBay. Um, and this one I've been wanting for a long time, and I've been wanting to get it boxed in nice condition. And that game is Kung Fu. And it's even got its little hanging tab at the top here, which is a bonus, really. But, um, yeah, that's boxed and complete. I've still got the Nintendo sticker. I don't even know if you can see that, but that's there. Yeah, boxing complete, like I say, carts in mint condition, the label's fine. The manual's alright as well. I'll just show you some screenshots. Oh, my screenshots. I'll show you, I'll look at the back. The size of the box there. Yeah, that's in uh, alright shape, and that cost me £10. Um, which is good, actually, because this game can go for more than that. So I was pleased. £10, all in. Couldn't complain. So it's another um, boxed NES game to the collection. I think I must be pu pushing about 140 or something now, 150. So, 
yeah, I was really happy with that. And Kung Fu is a game that I really like, so yeah, it was tough to bits with that. Also got some Saturn games. This is just all coming thick and fast. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm hoping you're keeping up. Um, also got some Saturn games off of eBay, and this was one job lot. Um, it cost me, th oh god, what was it? I think it was about £17 and all, £17.40 or something. I don't know, something like that. But um, it had three games in, the, in it anyway. Um, I'll show you them. It was Fighting Vipers, was one of them. And that's boxed and complete, and that's in really good shape actually. It's one of the old cardboard cases there, and that's in good condition. I'm really pleased with it. It's got a sticker on the front, but I'll probably just keep that there. Um, yeah. Another game that was in it, a um, game I haven't played before, and that was Grid Run. Um, the game actually looks okay. Um, it don't look too bad. The front cover's a little bit beat up, but, you know, it's fine. The spine's fine there. And this is uh, boxed and complete again. So that's cool. So I'll go into the collection. There is um, some pen marks at the top here. Somebody's really dug into the cardboard with the pen marks. And that, that fucking annoys me. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, a, a copy of Crit Killer. Um, know absolutely nothing about this game. Um, apart from that it's a shooter. But it looks pretty cool actually. And that's boxed and complete. And it's one of these um, plastic cases. It's not like the, the original cardboard cases that you got with them initially. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I love it when they're when they're like that. So that was cool. Um, and all, like I say, all of them cost me £17 off of eBay. So I was more than happy with that. You know, it was, it was less than more, but I got out of bed at the last minute for them. And I, I forgot to check my eBay um, about them. Fuck, I can't even get this box closed now. So yeah, that kind of pissed me off a little bit, but um, no, I'm, I'm really pleased with that, and especially with that game, because I have wanted it for a while, so yeah, couldn't, compl couldn't complain, sorry. <coughs> and yeah, got um, a package as well off a fellow YouTuber um, by the name of Cojones Deloro, um, if you could let me know if I said your name right this time, dude, um, that would be cool. But um, yeah, he sent me some um, stuff to cheer me up, because I was feeling a bit down, Um and uh, yeah, it's absolutely awesome of him. He sent me a Saturn game through, Panzer Dragoon 2, well, Panzer Dragoon 2, um, and that's um, in, it's in actually not bad condition, actually. He said he was feeling bad because of the condition of it. I don't mind. Um, the spine's a little bit beat up, but aside from that, you know, it's got no manual in it. But honestly, that is so generous of you, man. I, c I couldn't be happier with it. And I really want to play the game, so you know what I mean. This is this is fucking ace, and this will do me until I come across a better co uh, like a better condition copy of it. But for now, this is I'm more than happy to have this in my collection. So thank you so much, man. He also sent me a couple of things in as well. He sent me an Xbox game, The Chronicles of Riddick: Escape from Butcher Bay. Um, now I've never ever seen this game before. Um, I never even watched Chronicles of Riddick to be honest. Uh, it's the back of the box, and that's the uh, spine. And that's boxed and complete, which is cool. Um, and it's an, it's only an, it's like an Xbox exclusive. So for Xbox, I collect Xbox exclusives, um, and that is pretty fucking sweet. So I'm really pleased with that, and I'm really pleased to have that in my collection. So thank you very much, my man. And he also <laughs> he sent me some um, some sweets, um, which is really really good of him. He sent me some Haribos, Straubs, fucking favourites, Tang Fastics. Good man. Oh yeah. Happy Colas. And Super Mix. Boy's a legend, man. I'm going to be munching in them when I'm watching a film. I'll tell you that now. Thank you so much, Cojones Deloro. Um, please, guys, go check him out. I've got to leave a link to the, his, um, his channel in the, the descriptions below. Such an awesome guy. Um, and he's got a really awesome channel as well, so definitely go check him out. He's really funny too. A lot funnier than me. I, I'm not funny at all, but he's a really cool guy, so you'll definitely like him. And I also got another game sent through by one of my good friends um, on YouTube as well, another good friend, and that is Time Team 1982 description below, go and check him out. He sent me a game through for the Saturn, it's uh, Breakpoint, um, and this one's in not bad condition actually. He said it was really, really badly beat up, but you know what, for a Saturn game, for the cardboard um, sleeves in a Saturn game, 
this is absolutely fine for me. I mean, yeah, it's coming away from the front cover, so I'll hold it as best I can, but um, I'm completely fine with that, because you can just glue them down onto the cardboard cover, uh, and they're fine, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so that'll happily go into my collection, so it saves me looking for that. So, thank you very much, my man. He also sent some money in here for um, the Spectrum collection that I had up on YouTube recently. Um, uh, so he's getting that, so I'm selling him that. But um, yeah, so thank you so much, man. So thanks very much to uh, Cojones de Loro and Time Team 1982 Descriptions to both of their channels in the description box below. Go check them out because they're fucking awesome people. And yeah, <clears throat> that completes episode 50 of my pickups. Um, slightly shorter than usual, but... Um, no, I'm really pleased with everything I got. So thanks very much, guys. In my next video, there won't be many pickups, but there's a console in there. Um, so, and it's really cool because I found that at the car boot sales. So yeah. But um, thanks very much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave me some comments and stuff. Tell me what you think of the pickups that I got. If I got some good prices and stuff. <clears throat> and also, yeah, go and check out the two YouTubers that I mentioned. Description below. Um, and yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, take it easy, and I shall see you in the next video. Um, whatever it's going to be, it'll probably be another episode. Um, but yeah, like I say, thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I shall see you in the next video, guys. Ciao for now. See ya.